Brendan, many congratulations to your 100 metre sprint at the goal. Tell us exactly how you're feeling. Yeah, no, I thought it was a brilliant performance from start to finish. You know, we limited them to, to very few opportunities and um, a very mature performance by ourselves. You know, tactically in the game, we were excellent. And uh, a great thing for me, showing the personality and showing the development of the, the team, you know, to keep a clean sheet and, uh, and play with that calmness. So, um, no, very, very proud of the team, but uh, like I say, only, only halfway there. Did you pick a more solid looking side to perhaps boost confidence after the, the Champions League campaign? Well, listen, it, it, that, that level and, and that level of opponent that, that we have come up against the last couple of years, it, it really tests you to the limit. Um, but I think it is it's very important that you defend well in any game, whether it's you know a, a Scottish Premiership game or a Europa League or Champions League game. So, uh, But I thought defensively we were very strong tonight. Everyone uh, very clear in their role and how they worked it. And uh, But like I say, we showed a great calmness with the ball and, uh, and everyone contributed. Did you feel you picked exactly the right time to bring on Charlie Musonda? Well, I said I said to the players yesterday that I felt that between 60 and 70 minutes we would just need to, to change it, you know, because we're, you know, playing with um, the shape that we were playing that was going to, was going to, you know, be taxing on some of the players. So that fresh impetus and, and Charlie's a dribbler, you know, and you see in his goal that uh, kept the ball, could stay on the ball and and took us out of the pressure. So. Uh, so yeah, he was he was very good when he came on, but very much very much a, a team performance tonight and a very good result for us. And do you feel Celtic are now favourites? Well, no, I think listen, it was two games going to be two difficult games, but uh, we've given ourselves a, a wonderful opportunity, defend it very very well, and looked a real threat going forward. So we take the victory, clean sheet, and uh, now sets it up really well next week. Brendan, well done, thank you. Pleasure, thank you, thanks. You could see what that meant to Brendan Rodgers tonight when they scored that goal running down the touchline. You've been there before. Yeah. You've done that run. I was a bit quicker than Brendan. <laughs> yeah. I think he uh, deserves an enormous amount of credit for tonight. The, the squad has been decimated by injuries. There's been a lot of negativity coming into the game off the back of the Champions League campaign. He got the tactics bang on, he got the personnel bang on, he got the substitution spot on. We wondered about the team. And it's been, yeah, it's been a perfect night for, for Celtic, really. 1-0, clean sheet, going into the second leg. Gives them... A real foothold in the tie, and that's all Brendan could really have wanted for from tonight. And you cannot understate, underestimate the brilliance of the strike, can you, by McGregor, when it came his way in the box? Oh, it was a wonderful finish. Cool, calmness, personified, really. Um, you know, he missed that opportunity in the first half on his favourite side, his left side, if you like. You see Masonda there, starts to move off in his own half. Look at the desire he shows to get up the field. It's then belly, just clips it inside, and that is just out of this world to just spot McGregor. McGregor does really, really well to stay on side. He could easily drift offside uh, while the play is developing there. And uh, if, you, if you're low in confidence, you head that. You go and head that towards the goal. No, he brings it down on his chest and he hits it perfectly on the half folly across the goal, in off the underside of the bar. And that goal for me is fitting to win any game. It really, really is. Super I thought all finished. the big players turned up tonight. Mm -hmm. I thought Dembele was superb. You know, Brown had another great game in there. In Cham and Kwasi did their bit as well. Forrest was a threat. You know, on the point he makes defensively, they look really solid. Ayer, you know, for someone so immature at this level, had a great performance. The goalkeeper did what he had to do and did it well. So, again, it's the sum of all parts. I think it's been a really, really good team performance. And Celtic, at this stage of the season, needed that. And we can hear from the two guys right now who linked up so well for that goal with David Callum, congratulations. Is that as good a goal as you've scored in a Celtic jersey? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, Charlie put a great ball in and was just trying to get it under control and, you know, in the half volley, trying to keep it under the bar and thankfully it goes in. Were you tempted to header it when it was coming over? No, <laughs> no chance. Um, no, as I say, I was just trying to get it under control as quick as possible and, and try and get a shot off and, like I say, thankfully it went in. How big a performance was that by Celtic tonight? Yeah, it was massive. Um, we know how difficult a task it was going to be, and you know we set up well in training the last few days, and you know we, we know it was going to be tight coming into the last 20 minutes, and you know try and open up for there and, and try and get a positive result. Charlie, I'm sure you were disappointed not to start the game, but uh, how delighted were you to make such a positive impact when you came on? No, I was delighted. Uh, it was a great team from a uh, great effort from the team. I think uh, we deserve to win today. Uh, such a great game against a good team, so uh, I was delighted to come in and to be able to perform and I'm very happy we won today. Is this the kind of night, the kind of game that made you join Celtic from Chelsea? 
Yeah, of course. You know, Celtic is a very, very big club. Uh, we play very big games here, so I'm very, very happy to be a part of uh, the game tonight and to be a part of such an atmosphere from the fans. It was great to, to play tonight. Guys, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. It's a sign of a really good player. You come off the bench, Musonda, you affect the game like that. Brendan Rodgers tried so hard to get him to the club, John, and rewarded there with the substitution, and you can you can just see what it means. Well, it's, it's just that little bit of quality, isn't it? He's at Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea have, have lots and lots of players out on loan, but he's at Chelsea for a reason. They obviously like him. They've kept him going with his development. He's not played that much for the first team down there. He's come, to, he's come to Celtic to play in an environment, Europa League, European football, um, in front of a massive crowd here. And, and Brendan will continue that development and um, it's, it's, it's proven to be a really, really good bit of business. Look, 1-0 is an absolutely brilliant result, as you said. They've not conceded, but well, they look back in the game and think they could have had more. Maybe they should have had more, Neil. They had chances first and second half. Yeah, I mean, you know, that would be slightly harsh. I think the overall performance was excellent. Um, I, I don't think in the wildest dreams they could have envisioned having so much domination and chances. What a great switch of player that is from Tierney. And it's just, I think the goalkeeper does excellent here. He reads the situation. I don't think Kwasi could have done a lot more. This one, you know, great ball from Enchan. And James, he's very strong in this position. You expect him to get the shot off, well defended again. But this was symptomatic of the second half. It was really dominance from Celtic. I like that, you know, sometimes when it's a packed defence, hit a shot. You know, work the goalkeeper, deflection or a rebound, something could happen. So they made a lot of good decisions tonight, Celtic. Unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, it would have been a travesty if they hadn't have won the game. But 1-0 is a very good scoreline on the basis of, you know, the build-up towards this game. My only error of caution is that Zenit did look undercooked. There'll be a different proposition in St. Petersburg. There'll be a week fitter. It'd be interesting to see what Mancini's take on their performance tonight because they were a little bit insipid for me tonight. Yeah, was, were you surprised by how off the game they were, isn't it? I think I was. I think there was a there was a downbeat feeling from the from the Celtic faithful. I think before the game had started, we we give, we know we we put Zenit on this pedestal. They spent eighty million pounds under Mancini, but they just weren't at it. I don't know whether that was the fact that Celtic was so good, mm -hmm. they pressed high up the field. They, they they pressed in numbers, not just in in ones and twos. You know, whenever they got the call from behind, they pushed in. Scott Brown had another one of his fantastic yeah. evenings. But defensively, we were talking off air earlier on, and when you keep a clean sheet. You've always got a chance. Mm -hmm. So if you if you defend and, and you defend properly and take no make no mistakes, um, you've always got an opportunity. Because in games you you will create one, two, or three possible chances. So how do you set Celtic up next week then for the away more, game? More of the same. You know, it, it depends on the personnel. Um, they've got a game obviously Sunday. Yeah. Um, Saint Johnston. Yeah. Here. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how Brendan sets up for that. But I think obviously in the back of his mind will be. The second leg, Dembele, you know, if he uh, plays like that again, that'll give him a huge shot of confidence. He was a real handful tonight, and he has to start, I think. And more of the same, you know, if they get a few more back, Rodgers will be a week fitter. You know, I think he could play some part in the tie as the the tie develops. But um, I don't think Brendan could have envisaged such a good performance and result. Guys, thank you very much. Enjoyed your company all night. Great result from Celtic's point of view.